What's going on, guys? It's Dragon OTK back again for our Duel Links content video. It's, it is um, is that time again? We're gonna take a look at this. It's fine. That time again, where we're gonna be taking a look at another box. The the new main box, a absolute inferno has come out the day uh, um, of the 27th. Uh, or on a sale, it's a sale. Not 27th, only 20th of um, the 20th of uh, February. Um, that's February 2019. That um, this is a um, this is going to be your kind of more your um, your Red Dragon Archfiend box. Um, last box we had uh, we had Black Storm Rising, Sacred Vengeance, uh, Stardust Acceleration, Brow Bravery. Now we have Absolute Inferno, which is our Red Dragon Archfiend box, which has become a get our next um, dragon, our next uh, five D's dragon. Um, I think that we need. I think the only one that we're missing then is Black Rose Dragon. So I'm guessing the next mini box will probably be Black Rose Dragon. Or did I'm hoping. Um, but we'll see. So yeah, Red Dragon Archfiend is now finally in the game. Um, well, it was already in the game, obviously, through the skill, but not in the game properly. So basically, we're just gonna be reviewing the box and um, going over the few ultras and the SRs, and then we'll get our ten packs and see how it goes. So we have Red Dragon Archfiend, which we all know. You probably all know what he does from his um, skill. Um, so it's, I'll go over it real quick. It's one trainer plus one more non trainer monster after damage calculus this card attacks the defense position monster your opponent controls. Destroy all defense position monster opponent your opponent controls turn the FA destroy other monsters you control that do not clear attack this turn. This card must also be faced on the field to activate that and resolve that effect. It's pretty uh, pretty cool uh, monster. I do I always like Red Dragon Arf, you know I look always tell you look really dope. Um so yeah, he's in the game. So our next ultra is our level 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 Lava, lava, whatever. Dragons. <laughs> uh, one tuna plus more or one more. No, one or more non tuna fire monsters. So that's a fire type monster. This is also got to mention this is pretty much a fire or uh, fire attribute oriented box. A lot of fire types in this box. Um, one tuna plus. Yeah, I said you can shuffle two lava monsters from your graveyard into your main deck. Target one card you control is returned. It's a pretty cool card, actually. I do like it. It's so definitely some lava support now, um, which might make lava slightly better. Lava are still pretty garbage, but this makes them a little bit better. Um, this is pretty cool. It's nice that they do have a synchro. Um, I guess there's going to be a tuner for them in here somewhere. Um, lava, there's a tuner, there's one tuner. So, um, yep, so there's a few. Um, our next guy is Chaos King Archfiend, which is pretty cool. Look, I really like this guy. They're pretty dope. And um, when this card declares an attack, you can switch the battle, the current attack in defense of all face up monsters you put control and control until the end of the battle phase. That's cool. And he has 2600 attack and 2600 defense, so he's keeping his. He has the same. So if he's supposed to switch, it'd be the same, I guess. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> that's nice. So you could be facing like a. I don't even know. Something like a 2000. I'll just say, for example, a 2000 feet stick with zero defense. You switch that, he's gonna have zero attack, so he's taking 2600 to the face. That's pretty dope. I like that. <laughs> That's uh, pretty cool. And the main, pretty much the main highlight of this entire box, which I want to have seen anyway, is Cerulean, Sacred Phoenix of, uh, Sacred Phoenix, uh, of ne Nevesis, uh, whatever. <laughs> this guy, um, he's pretty much the main guy, the, the main thing, the, basically the best deck to come out of this box is honestly with this guy. This guy's really cool. You can reach some this card with Rebirth of Nevesis, uh, you can only use the effect of the following uh, effects of Serene Sacred Phoenix once per turn. Uh, during your main phase, you can destroy. Uh, you can destroy Nef Am I saying that right? Sacred Phoenix of Nephesis? Nef Nephesis? God, I'm butchering that. People are going to get mad at me. Um, card in your hand or face up on the field, then destroy equal. Uh, destroy an equal number of monsters you control. It's insane. It's pretty cool. During your standby phase, after this card was destroyed by Battle Card Effects, set the grave. You can special summon from the grave. It's really cool. It goes really well with Sacred Phoenix. Honestly, there's a good combo with that. Um, but yeah, it's definitely going to be pretty hard to build because he's a he's an ultra. So, pr looks cool. Looks dope as hell. I really like the look of him. And then we have more Brotherhood of the Fire Fist support, which I'm actually pretty excited about. We have a tuner. It uh, cannot be used for a synchro material except for the synchro summon. Fire Beast Warrior type figures. This card is normal summon. You can target one level three monster 200 or defense in your graveyard. Special summon. That's cool, actually, because there's a. I think there's a big, big boy with 200 defense, I think. Um, or less in your graveyard. Special summon and target in defense position. If you do, monster, the monsters you control cannot attack for the rest of your deck. This effect except Beast Warrior monsters. You can only use the effect of uh, Fire Fist Spirit once per turn. 
pretty cool. I like that. That's actually pretty neat. And uh, your brother, brotherhood of the fire fist bear. Once per turn, when this card inflicts battle damage, your opponent is you can set one fire formation spell from your f uh, spell card from your directly from your deck. Yeah, similar to other ones. Once per turn, you can send one phase of fire formation spell to the graveyard, and then target one monster in the field to destroy it. Yo, that's really cool. And the ultras are really dope in this box. I do really like the ultras in this box. Um, then we have Vice Dragon, which is also a uh, Jack Atlas's card. If you control, if your opponent controls monster, you control monster special in this card from your hand, but its resistance attack is halved. So it's a bit like a, it's like a, it's like um, a Cyber Dragon, but worse, because <laughs> you lose half your attack and defense. Um, so you go to 2,200 basically. I'm um, even tribute summon it yourself up 2,000 attack, but interesting. I mean, there might be some combos out there. I'm not sure. Um, and then we have. A dinosaur card, actually. I think I think it's dinosaur. It? We have a dinosaur card. We have a living fossil. Yeah. Well, it's not a dinosaur card. It's just um, Hasselberry had this card. Activate this card by targeting one level four lower monster. Your favorite special summon it. Equip it with this card. With banish it the field. So, okay, simple. A bit like Hall of Haunted. Even this card had left the field. When this card leaves the field, banish the equipped monster. And the mo the equipped monster loses a thousand attack and defense, but its effects are aren't negated. Also, its effects are negated. Interesting card. Um, I don't know how that's gonna play out. I feel like it's it's pretty cool. Um, there's a little bit of a drawback to it, but uh, especially some of the go with Banish when it left the field. If this even if this card has left the field, okay. So interesting. It's an interesting card. I don't know how well it's gonna play out, but I do. Maybe there could be some combos with it out there. I'm not too sure. I can't think of any top of my head right now. Um, we have a dark bribe. When your opponent activates a spell, or when your when an opponent's spell trap is activated, your your opponent draws one card. Also, negate the activation, uh, and you destroy it. So I think that's a cool card. It's a counter trap as well, which is really really nice. So when you use like a counter fairy deck, you could. Um, the only downside to it, of course, is the fact that um, your opponent gets to draw one, which I guess could be okay. But I mean, you always do get my like a clutch draw maybe, and that might. Yeah, you're part of the W, but it might not. I don't know. Um, nonetheless, a pretty interesting uh, card. Um, I like it. I do like it. Uh, onto the SRs. We have Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Horse Prince. Um, so here's our um, our tuner, the our, our synchro. Uh, this guy's a tuner. It's a level three tuner. Um, one fire tuner plus more, one or more non-tuner monsters. When this card synchro summon, you can select one level three fire monster from your deck. After you synchro summon this card, you can, cannot. Wait, no, I read that wrong. When this card is sick or summoned, you can special summon one level 3 fire monster from your deck. Okay, that's pretty cool. After you sick or summon this card, you can cannot special summon level 5 or higher monster for the rest of the turn. Okay, it's an interesting effect. It's a pretty cool effect. Interesting. Well, it's not cool, but it's an interesting effect. Um, yeah. I'm excited, man. I do want to play Fire Fists. I think they're pretty cool. They do look um, like they're a lot cooler. Um, we have another Nephesis. Uh, Nephesis? 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 I, I don't even know. I'm I know you're gonna cringe with that, but I just whatever. <laughs> so it's in we got a couple of fusion supports in this one. Um you can ritual on this card rebirth the Nephites, uh, yeah. You don't need the effect of flying effects of dev devote uh, once per turn, so same as the other guy. Uh, same ritual spell. Uh, this card ritual you can activate its effect, special summon one Nephesis, Nephites monster from your deck. Also during the emphasis of the turn, destroy this card. Okay, so that's cool. So it's kinda like a one and done thing. This card's in your graveyard, you can destroy one uh Nephesis, uh, card in your hand if you do special summon this card. Okay, so a lot of recycling. That's cool. It's kind of a one and done guy because if you activate the first effect, he's you know he's gone during the end phase. So it's kind of like a one and done thing, but it's pretty cool. You can just special summon a uh, monster from one of them from your deck, so it doesn't even matter. You just special summon him and boom, there he comes. So that's pretty cool. Um, ignoring the summoning just and everything. So you have level lakeside lady, which is your always oh, your tuner. Probably your better turner. If this card is in your graveyard, you have three or more level monsters with different names in your graveyard. You banish this card on one of the level monsters from your graveyard to target one sec card your opponent controls. Destroy it. Okay, levels are all about sending cards, uh, getting cards in the graveyard, so that's kind of might be pretty good. Um, especially if you've used this for if you have three or more levels. So if you have two, uh, three or more levels, different names, yeah, um, you're probably gonna have that because levels do bad or ditch cards a lot. And this card. You're probably going to use this for a tuner or for a synchro summon, so that's when you're going to activate that card. It's pretty cool. I do like that. I think that's nice. Um, we have more Genix allies as well, some more random Genix ally support. Once you're entering your main phase, you can select one face up attack versus monster your opponent control with the same attribute as this card and destroy it. Okay. Select one face up attack versus monster your opponent control with the same. I mean, 
<laughs> say much moves this card, so it has to be a. Well, it doesn't have to be a dark. I'm sure you could maybe run three of these in DNA surgery, I guess. That could work. DNA surgery could work. Obviously, it'd be pretty cool. This card can attack the turn as you activate this card. Okay. I mean, it's not a bad card. It's. You could DNA support. Or DNA surgery, sorry, would it? That could be kind of fun. I don't know. Um, interesting. We have Dread Dragon. And uh, when this card is a show of a balance of the graveyard, you can add one level three alert dragon type monster from deck to Okay, that's a nice little searcher, and it's also a two-star tuner. So it's also got that little bonus of being a tuner. But it's a nice little searcher as well for a level three alert dragon. Now we have three trolling <laughs> trolls. <laughs> oh well. This is a beast war is this is a beast warrior tuner, but it's water. This card is normal or special summons. You can target one beast warrior monster the graveyard. This card's attribute and level become the same as that monster. Okay, that's pretty neat. So you can still use it in a fire fist deck. You can make it, you can still make it um, a uh, fire type or a fire attribute, which is pretty interesting. Uh, during your main phase, you can special summon one beast warrior monster with the same attribute and level as this card from your hand. You can only use effective tree trolling trolls once per turn. You cannot special the monsters during next phase except beast warrior. So it's, whoops, I, <laughs> sorry, I bought the mic. Um, so that's a pretty interesting card. It's definitely you could definitely still use it in a fire fist deck. Um, it's a water type, obviously, but you could make it a, a um, you could make it a um, a fire type. So I guess it could work. I don't know. Interesting. I'm, I'm not really seeing the combos you could do with it, apart from maybe fire fist combos. I don't know. There could be something I'm missing. Um, but yeah, interesting. So now we have two vanilla uh, monsters. We've they're, they're one's a beat stick and one's a reverse of a beat stick because it's got two thousand defense. It's also a Vanilla one star tuner, Flamville Guardian. Um, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about this. Um, it's basic. I mean, it's the 2000 defense is nice, so I guess you could you could set it, and it most likely will survive for one turn. Um, yeah, I don't know. Then we have Alexandra Dragon, which is your next staple. We've had a bunch. We've had staple our staple boxes basically have a staple vanilla now that our vanilla beats are gonna come in pretty much almost every box. This time we have Alexandra Dragon 2000. Turn defense. It started off at like 1800 and 1900, and there are several, like 1600, 1700, 1800, 19, and now we're and it was like 2000s, and now it's like 2000 with 100 defense. We're just slowly building the power creep for that. It's pretty funny. We have molten conduction field. Send two level monsters from deck to your graveyard. Yo, that's dope. You're gonna run around three of those, especially for the activation of this guy. Not this guy. This this uh, guy or girl, I should say, like said, lady. That's pretty cool. I like that. That's definitely um. Ooh, that's cool. I like that. Send two level. It's just send two level monster deck. That's pretty decent. That's you definitely gonna have a good few combinations of level uh, lady there. Nice. All right, cool. They have skill skill prisoner, which is a kind of oldish card. Well, it's not oldish. It's one of the older sets of GA or five Ds, I think. You can target one card your opponent controls. Target one card. You, no, target one card. You control this turn when, uh, when any monster effect uh, resolved that targeted that card and activation to gate the effect. I mean, turn engage play turn except this turn. This card sent to grave. You can bench card from grave to target one card. Your opponent control. Card you control this turn. Win him. Okay. I don't. It's too. It's too um. Situational for me. It's you're banking on your opponent targeting one of your cards. There could be something I'm missing which would uh which is always usually true. It could be something that I am missing. But I feel like I don't know, I feel like that card's just too situational. I don't think that it's um good enough really. I don't know, I could be wrong. Um let me know if you have any ideas for kind of combos that would work with that card because I don't I do not see it. Anyway, moving on. We have bad aim, which is a card that I Saw on the TG. I like this card. I do like this card. When an opponent's card effect is activated, target one card in the field. Other than that card, destroy it. So you can't target the card your opponent activates. That's why it's called bad aim, because you're missing. But I still think it's cool. It still, it still bops one, so you could bop, you could still stop a combo that they're trying to activate with that card they're activating. So I guess it could work. I, I like it. I like it. I know many people might not like it, but I do. I think it's a pretty cool card. Not going to be a staple or anything, but it's, it's cool. Um, okay, there's definitely a bunch of cards I want to go over. Ancient Flamble Deity. Bunch more Brother of the Fire Fists. Um, you know, Flamvels are in here. Um, we're not going to read through all these. We're going to open our 10 packs and we're going to go over who we... We're going to go over, basically, who we uh, pull. So let's go. 10 packs, let's go. Free 5 gems. Thank you. 
Can we get Red Dragon Archery into the first pack? Just kidding. Um, yeah, it's not gonna be him. Synchro Soldier during what's my turn in your main phase one? During your main phase one, there's no main phase two. Uh, you can select one phase of the synchro monster you control. Remove that. Remove, remove that phase of synchro monster control from play and flick six turns down to your opponent. If you use this effect during your next time fight, that removes the play from monster turns field. Eh, it's a lot of work for 600 points of damage to the face. And he also has zero attack and defense, so meh, it, I, I don't know. That's pretty just average card. And um, power supplier. Let's pretend you select one monster control that gains four attack. You control this card face up. Card. Uh, monster. A monster cannot gain one for an attack when this card's effect. Alright. Interesting. Sorry guys, we have Ancient Flamvel Deity, so uh, <laughs> I was just looking at this guy a few seconds ago. One fire, two of us, more and more non tuner pyro monsters, and this card is synchro storm, remove from play. Cards from your opponent's graveyard, up to the number of cards in their hand. This card against two attack of each card. Okay, uh, that's actually neat, that's pretty neat. I mean, if they have, like, no cards in hand, it's gonna be useless, but I do think it's a pretty interesting effect. Um, interesting. Cool. Alright, uh, moving on. Here, Shogi, Shogi Lance. Um, uh, or Shogai, uh, Shogi, whatever. <laughs> Once per you can target one other level 3 beast warrior monster you control, the levels of that monster and this card become the combined levels of those monsters. Okay. Um, so I guess it could be good for Synchro Summoning. It could be also good for Exceed Summoning when they get here. Um, I don't know. Um, yeah, it's a pretty average normal card. Uh, Bird of the Fire Fist Hawk. Um, this card's in its own best to by a card. Opponent's card, either by battle or card. In fact, you can set that's pretty cool. It's by battle as well. You can set one fire formation spell card directly from your deck. Well, you control fire formation spell, all fire face monster control. Okay, okay, that's pretty cool. I think that's pretty. I like that. Even though it's just a regular common, I do like that. I think that's a pretty neat effect. It does only have 200 attack, I guess, which is, um, I guess it's where it's kind of lacking. But if you I mean you're gonna get, it's. I think it's gonna be. If you have a fire formation spell, it's gonna be constantly. Uh, 700 attack, which obviously is still not great, but I don't know. I like it. I think it's pretty cool. If Umbral, a horror ghoul. <laughs> What's turn you can make these cards at zero, and if you do, you can special someone. Umbral, horror monster with zero attack from your hand. What the hell? Oh, we got Umbral or something? What is that? I don't know. Level Stenton, or Stenton. Um, what, one tuner plus more non tuner fire monsters. When this card is synchro, someone send one card from your hand. Which graveyard during each of his turn. When this card is target by Card effect, um, you can banish one level monster from graveyard, then get the activity neutral. Okay, that's neat. That's pretty neat. Um, he's a big boy, so it's a little bit difficult to summon, but cool, cool effect. Uh, Flamvel Archer. Uh, once per turn, you can tribute one phase of Pyro monster you control to have all Flamvel monsters on the field gain 800 attack until the end phase. Okay, pretty neat. Pretty neat. Nice little beat stick kind of thing going on there. Not our deity, but we got a glossy one. Um, Rebirth of Nephesis. Uh, Nephesis. Um, <laughs> Damn it! This can be used for oh, this is the this is the um, ritual spell. It, this card can be used for some any uh, ritual monster. You must also tribute monster from your hand or field to whose level equal to yeah yeah same with always. It that if you could if you tribute to devote sorcery, you can destroy one card on the field. What the f damn? Wow! Uh, Matriarch of Nephesis or Nephetus. Um, you could target target one level four or lower. <laughs> monster in your graveyard, um, except uh, Matriarch, and destroy one card in your hand, and if you do special on this card, in defense position, oh my god, more reasons to use your bell, but negate its effects, and, um, okay, during your standby phase of the card, which is at the graveyard, you can special on this card from your graveyard, okay, so every time it gets destroyed, it comes back, fire formation, Yoko, um, when you activate, we've got another form of fire formation, when you activate this card, you can try one phase of the card your opponent controls, discard one beast more, if you do destroy that card, Wow, that's pretty neat. Nice way to bop one. Uh, Crimson Fire. When you activate a spell, it shows that will inflict damage to you while you control a reservoir. If your opponent takes twice the effect damage that would be taken, oh boy, oh boy, <laughs> that could be kind of. I want to mess around with that. That could be really fun to mess around with. Level, <laughs> uh, level, Kotal, Kotal, Kotal. If you have to more lava monsters with a different names in your graveyard, you can special summon this card. Okay. Could be used to interesting. That's the way it's special summon something. Could be used for the synchro summoning, I guess. And we have D Dust Flame Blast. Banish all lava monsters from your graveyard. Destroy any number of cards in the field up to the number of monsters banished for this card's activation. 
wow, levels are definitely taking a big step from where they were. They were awful, and now they're kind of decent, I guess. I don't know if they're probably not amazing, but they're definitely interesting. We're gonna get nothing. Jesus Christ. Alpha Force Bright. Let's card stand from the field of graveyard. All face up level monsters. You currently control gate to attack for each level monster in the graveyard. Delete and face. Okay. Oh, here are more umbrals. Umbral Horror Ghost. During a main phase, you can press on this card. One level, four lower. Fiend type monster. Okay, so you get plus two. That is pretty cool. Uh, you cannot normal summon set during three activate sect. Um, you can only use the effect of Horror Ghost once per turn. And last. Ooh, never mind. Trap. It's glossy, too. It's gotta be Skull Prisoner, I just know it. Marvelous Fork. <laughs> okay. You can select that you can send one or feed most of from your grave to the hand special summon this card or from your hand to the grave to special summon this card. Okay. Double resonator. Oh yeah, not a resonator. This card is normal summon special when you can target one face up monster on the field. This that target is treated as two hundred for this turn. Okay. You can um, you can buy this card from your grave to target one fiend type monster you control that fiend monster treat as a tuner okay so it's basically just treating stuff as a tuner which i guess could be okay i don't know um interesting um interesting oh it's dark bribe a glossy okay okay glossy dark bribe i will take it that's nice all right i can't complain about that i cannot complain uh oh we got one of the beat sticks we got one of the beat sticks marvelous spoon <laughs> oh it's not marvelous it's malicious ah, bleh. Yeah, I thought it was marvelous. Uh, when monster with a different name is normal summon special with your side of the field, except during damage step, you could target one level two fiend monster in your graveyard special summon that target. Its effects are negated. You could always effect of malish mal. I I'm not dyslexic. I promise you that. I just I can't. I just I'm not good at reading stuff. Defender of as you may face, you can draw one card in your hand. And if you do special summon level four or lower a monster from your hand, never a monster from your hand, except defender. During your standby phase, that this card was destroyed by a card effect, you could destroy one of them. Okay. Uh, Alexander Dragon. I mean, not really to write home about there. Number of Horror Ghost, Neo Flamville Shaman. He was already in the game before, I think. This card destroys a positive armor value. You have to more Flamville when select one card in your post game from play. If your opponent does not have any spell cards in your river, you can just effect to activate flip to fight damage your opponent. Okay. Mind Trust. Tribute one level two or higher monster. Uh, one tuna monster from your grave to your hand is level or equal. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Nice tuna structure. Trench Shield Defender. When this, when this card you control the trophy balance sent to the graveyard, you can have its attack on one of your opponent's monsters. Yeah. Trap Eater. Happy to almost that. Must be successful by sending one face up trap your opponent. Your opponent controls to the grave. Can't be special in ways. Okay. That's weird, man. Far from Mission Yoko. And that's pretty much it. So we got two cards. We got Glossy Dark Prime and Alexandra Dragon. Um, this text or this vid's going on a bit long. I don't want to keep you guys too much. Uh, um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I um, hope you enjoyed that, guys. It's a little bit of a, it's always a little bit of a ramble, but um, yeah. So if you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If you enjoyed, hit the subscribe button. And uh, more content at the way. And I'll catch you guys in the next vid. Peace.